Hello folks. The bag that you see me carry in most of my videos is what I would call my day bag. It's a bag that I made myself. It's essentially a haversack really. Very simple design. It's just a haversack with rounded corners. Um, and a couple of pleats put in it just to give it a bit more room and some pockets but essentially it is a haversack. Um, which is great as a day bag, perhaps a little bit more, but uh, for something a bit more extended. I thought I'd experiment with a frame for it. So I'm just interested to see what I can make as far as a bamboo frame. Uh, I'm familiar with the Roycroft frame, nothing wrong with that. But I just wanted to sort of experiment a little bit and see what I could do with some bamboo and so apart from procuring a bit of bamboo I'm here to get some Belize, Belize, Belize which is a flower um, called Belize locally let me put you this side um, that again you may have seen featured in a lot of my videos and I guess I've got a bit of a thing for it the reason being that not only is it very beautiful, um, but it's also a water source. Its petals collect rainwater. Um, and I have discovered, having done a bit of research, that the hummingbird is the sole pollinator of that plant. So, without the hummingbird, the Belize could not flourish. Interesting, huh? Anyway, I digress. And here's some over here, look. You see where it's collecting water there, look. But not only does the Belize um, collect water and look very beautiful, but its leaves, these fronds here, are an extremely valuable source of natural cordage and I'm going to cut some down and show you how I've been shown to process it The way to process them is like this. You run them under the handle of your bush knife or your machete. Let me show you a close up. <laughs> And that makes them, it splits them and makes them more flexible. You can see the individual fibres there. Then you can pull off the thinner fibres if you want that. Or we'll keep them as they are. Extremely strong. And many thanks to my friend Krish for showing me that technique. And so I'm going to try and make a, um, a pack frame 
using completely natural materials, all natural materials, try and make a strong serviceable frame to augment the amount of gear that I can carry without changing out my day bag. I can use it to mount my day bag and my bed roll, perhaps I have a sack, etc. So stay tuned. Well, here's progress. Well, that's progress so far. You can see it's, I guess it's looking like a, a prop from Gilligan's Island at the moment, but um, I've got to dry it out, trim it up so it's not looking quite so hairy. Lash the bottom um, hoop. You can see the natural fibre there is taking the Spanish windlass quite well, and that's uh, 
I mean, that's pretty good. Spanish windlasses aren't kind on cordage at all. So, I'm, so far, I'm quite pleased with it. Um, I think I'm going to make this into a, a two-part because this, this video has gone on quite long. Um, so, I'll be back at you with the next bit.